What will it take to calm the fears over the spread of the coronavirus? That is the question that Congress is now confronting. We're looking at billions of dollars, and it could be double or triple the $2.5 billion President Trump has requested. Here are three things you need to know as we work to spread facts and not fear. Investors are clearly spooked. Virus anxiety triggered the biggest one-day market drop since 2011. Today, the CDC confirmed there's a patient in California who contracted the coronavirus through something they're calling community spread. Basically, that person had not traveled abroad and had no close contact with anyone who was sick. Capitol Hill negotiations continue on emergency spending. President Trump says it shouldn't be partisan. I think the Democrats should not try and make this, or the Republicans should not make this a political issue. This is about politics. Uh, again, we closed the borders very early. We didn't let certain regions of the world come in. By doing that, we really saved a lot. We made a great decision, took a lot of heat over that decision. But it turned out to be the right decision, and that's why we're at 15 and other places have many more. Now, coordination's key to combating a potential pandemic. Our local leaders say they're also on board. We are constantly uh, training ourselves on what would need to happen if we had a true case here. Beaumont Mayor Becky Ames touting the city's preparation, and we've already seen area schools making changes aimed at preventing the spread of the coronavirus.